Joe Haley, there's one thing I'll say for you. You've done a good job. You know how to handle men, and you know how to keep the line moving. Thanks, Mr. Brooks. You work hard, Joe. You're a good foreman. Yes, women workers do present problems, Joe. It's tough, I know, but there are thousands of others, just like you all over the country, facing the same problems. Pretty generally, you'll all find about the same answers. Well, I know most of the answers, as far as the men are concerned. Well, I think we can say that the broad principles involved in the supervision of men apply equally well in the case of women. That ain't what I learned about women. There are some new and different problems, Joe. I'll, I'll admit that. Women scare me, at least. They do in a factory. Well, maybe the women are scared too, Joe. Let's see. Most of them are working on their first industrial job, Joe. It's a totally unfamiliar world. You see, they're not naturally familiar with mechanical principles nor machines. Why, even the language applying to uh, common processes and tools are new to them. It must sound like double talk to them. Now, if anybody wants a flam span, give with a double left-handed jerry wrench on account of it might subobulate the orange crate with the torpid. On the other hand, if a span flam is wanted, that single right-handed providing the pressing puncture is adjusted to the conch front of 37 and 2 eighths. Is that clear? I know, Joe. It takes time to make them feel at home, but it can be done. You talk like a man who knows women. We'll see, Joe. We'll see. You know, women workers can be surprisingly good producers, and it helps a lot to get them off to a good start. When uh, breaking in any new worker, and uh, of course, especially a woman, You've got to explain every angle of the process down to the last detail. And since most of them lack mechanical background, you, you've got to study every job and subdivide it into simple operating steps. It's a good idea not to use trade terms, uh, except, of course, where we must, and then explain in plain language exactly what such terms mean. And uh, no matter what the job, he fits the tools and the work arrangements to suit the worker. Women workers don't mind routine, repetitive work, and they're particularly good on work that requires high finger dexterity or uh, an unusual sense of accuracy. The inspection foreman did a good job of breaking in those girls. He remembered that what's old stuff to you and me is brand new to them. And I was just thinking what a dub I'd be doing something that's old stuff to my wife, but new to me. Well, like baking a pie. How did it go today, Joe? Oh, all right. You troubled about something? No, everything went all right, Molly, but... You know, I had seven requests for time off today. Well, I guess women don't realize what it means to stick on the job. Maybe they don't. How was your day? Oh, pretty quiet. I did the washing this morning. I cleaned the house. And I took Junior to the dentist. Mm -hmm. And then did the shopping. I put up 16 jars of jam this afternoon. Then I went to work on Junior's clothes. Joe, I'm sorry supper's late. Nice going, old lady. You know, Molly, I've been thinking. Yes, Joe. Maybe some of those women and girls coming into the plant, well, maybe they have home responsibilities, too. Could be. Maybe, maybe they really do need time off. Perhaps I could rearrange their work schedules for oh, them. I'm sure they'd like that. So many of them have two jobs, Joe. One in the home, one in the plant. Gee, 
I'm glad I thought of that. Yes, dear. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Mr. Brooks. How go the ladies? Well, as a matter of fact, I was just jotting down a few points on that very subject from this manual of yours here. individualistic by nature and are apt to make a personal application of any action, rule, or regulation. You're telling me. Mm. Oh, the uh, supervisor should scrupulously avoid spending too much time with any individual woman worker, holding everyone to the same standards of performance and avoiding any appearance of favoritism. That's a neat trick, if you can do it. Well, Joe? This all boils down to four things to remember. One, don't mix pleasure with business. Two, women can be awfully jealous of each other. Three, avoid undue familiarity. And finally, women are more sensitive than men. I'll say they're sensitive. Why, only yesterday, I... After I finished talking to you, yes. I saw a foreman take it right on the chin when he caught a girl working on her drill press without her safety cap on. Mary, you're supposed to wear a cap when working near a drill press. Well, why pick on me? The other girls aren't wearing their cap. Look, the rule book says wear a safety cap. So put your cap on. There. You see what I mean? They give you an argument. And a crazy one at that. Yes. A man probably would have kept the argument about himself and uh, not trapped the foreman the way she did. What do you mean, trap him? Oh, Lord bless me. It, it's an old stunt, Joe. You go after a woman worker on one point, and she switches the issue. Well, why limit that to women? Now, women? the issue was, why wasn't she wearing a cap? Yeah. And she switched him to the fact that the other girls weren't wearing theirs. And all he did was stand on his dignity. <laughs> a bit stuffily, I might say. Now, if she had been a man, he wouldn't have laid down a safety rule so arbitrarily. You know, Joe, you've got to tell them the why of every rule, particularly women. Now, suppose he had handled it in this way. Mary, your hair was just about two inches away from the spill chuck. Now, that's why we ask you to wear a cap so that your hair don't get caught. Well, gee, I... You see, rules are here to protect you and the other girls working around you. Oh, gee, I saw some of the other girls and they weren't wearing any That's caps. That's right, but they're not working with machines. They just sit at a bench and assemble things. Nothing dangerous to them or the people nearby. You know, I never thought of it that way before. You have your cap with you, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I get it. A foreman will always have the eternal feminine to contend with, Joe. You know, jealousy can cause you no end of trouble. Now, uh, avoid spending any more time with one than with another. Mm -hmm. Treat them all the same, pleasantly, friendly, but with no favoritism. And above all, avoid undue familiarity. Watch the little things, Joe. The eternal feminine is very conscious of them. And uh, finally, I don't have to tell you not to mix pleasure with business. To all the rules in supervising women, add just one more. Act quickly. Never let a situation get underway. Remember, Joe, we couldn't have won this without the help of the women in this plant.